What up guys and welcome to another ultimate airdrop guide video. In this video, I'm going to go over the new blast mainnet, which just came out over this past week and all the different protocols that you can start farming now in order to get some of those juicy airdrops. Now, before getting into this video, I want to give a big shout out to Dennis, who's one of our alpha callers in the block investment group that made this guide that I'm about to go over today. And if you're someone that wants to stay on top of these different airdrops or just different plays, regardless of the chain, definitely join our discord and open up a support ticket. We'll give you a one week free trial pass for you to see what our group is about. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. As I said in the very beginning of the video, the Blast mainnet just came out in this past week. And with that, there are tons of different protocols and projects that are launching. And even though a lot of them are Ponzi's or scams, and you have to be very careful and use different burner wallets as you're going through this, guys, there are still some high end protocols or dApps that have some potential to make you money. And a lot of them are doing different airdrop incentives for you not only to get their token, but also some potential Blast. Now to give you guys a little bit of a background of what's going on with Blast is that they have their Blast airdrop that's going to be going out in the future. And in the meantime, they are incentivizing users to use these different decentralized applications in order to earn additional Blast points for their main airdrop. But on top of that, we're also getting airdrops for these different protocols that we're interacting with. So I'll have this link in the description, but it talks about how to actually accumulate the points. 50% of the Blast airdrop is allocated to these different blast points and your wallet is automatically going to earn these points based on what your balance is for ETH or WEATH or your USDB balance, which is their stable coin over on blast. And you're going to be able to see this real time on your dashboard, which I'll show you guys in a second. So the more money that you bridge over to the blast ecosystem using your MetaMask and bridging over from Ethereum, the more of these points that you're going to earn. You'll also be able to get additional points from inviting other people with the referral code. I'll personally have our referral code down in the description if you want to use mine or you can use someone else's. But once again, these invites will be able to give you additional points. They're also saying that you can earn points using the different dApps or decentralized applications on the network and they are required to distribute some of these points back over to you for using their platforms. And this is one of the main things we're going to do today to not only increase our actual blast airdrop, but also potentially get the airdrops of these dApps as well. Another important thing to note is they have these things called multipliers, which actually multiply your points. Now, the way to get these multipliers is by using the different highlighted dApps within their ecosystem, a lot of which are going to be in this video. And I believe a lot of these multipliers are going to unlock on the 13th. So it's important to start interacting with these dApps right now. Last thing that I want to bring up here is actually their gold, which is similar to their points. They say that 50% of the Blast airdrop is allocated to Blast gold. Gold is for the dApps particularly. And unlike points, gold is distributed manually. The Blast Incentives community will distribute gold on a two to three week cadence and announce publicly once the gold has been distributed. And once again, you're going to be able to see this in your dashboard. Gold is meant to be used as an incentive for dApp growth. This means that the dApps should give 100% of any gold they earn to their users, and they must integrate with the Blast Points API to do so. So once again, very similar to the points where you're going to be able to get your blast, but this is strictly through interacting with the different dApps, which we're about to do now. The first thing that you're going to need to do in order to interact in the blast ecosystem is to actually use an invite code and go to your new dashboard on the blast airdrop site. And on this site, you're going to be able to connect your Twitter and your discord and basically your wallet. And then you'll be able to put an invite code in order to see your account. And on the airdrops page, you're going to be able to see all of the different points you have, the different amount of gold that you were able to earn, your multipliers that you were able to get as you were using these different dApps, as well as the amount of money you bridged. Now, this is an Ethereum L2, and with that, you are going to need to bridge over some Ethereum once you actually connected your account. And all you're going to have to do, guys, is go to bridge, and then you can deposit from the Ethereum mainnet over to the Blast L2 mainnet. And when you do this, it's actually going to ask if you want to add Blast to your MetaMask, and of course, select yes, guys, so you actually be able to see your different coins. Right now, the gas fees are crazy high on Ethereum, and I expect Ethereum fees to continue to go up as we mess around in this ecosystem. So if you don't have at least $60, $70, you're not even going to be able to cover the gas. Outside of that, though, I think if you bridge over a couple hundred dollars, you're going to basically be able to do everything that you want to do in this ecosystem and farm a bunch of stuff. So as a minimum, guys, I would say you want to have at least $300. If you're going to be farming these different airdrops, you could do as low as $100 to $200 
$100. But once again, all these gas fees are really going to add up on the Ethereum chain. For the purpose of this video, I already bridged over 0.1 Ethereum, and now we're gonna go through about eight or nine different sites that you can start earning the tokens for. The first site is called BladeSwap, and on this site, we're going to be swapping some of our Ethereum, at least $100 worth, over into USBD. USBD is the main stable coin in this network. So for example, guys, I'm going to put in about 0.05 ETH, just as an example, and now I'm going to do this swap in order to get the U USDB. And for the most part, this is the same exact methods and the same exact format as any other chain. I'm sure if you're watching this blast video, which is a very new mainnet, you know how to interact on the different chains. So I'm not going to go too deep into there. But yes, the main thing is, is getting that USDB. The next thing that you can do is go to their loot box section. And on this loot box section, depending on how much you're interacting with the platform, you're going to get different tiers of loot boxes. And sometimes these loot boxes can have gold, which is where 50% of the blast airdrop is going. So as you can see here, I can hit get free loot box. And then all I'm doing now is claiming these different loot boxes. And I believe you can do this on a daily basis, guys. And once again, you can see here that each transaction is about $1.25 to $2, even on the L2 of Blast. So you need to make sure that you're actually bridging enough money over to cover all of these different fees. I just finished claiming the first one, but you're going to want to claim each of these different loot boxes each day. You can then go to the achievement tab and you're going to be able to see all of your different loot boxes and it says that they can be opened every Thursday at UTC zero. The last thing that you can do on Blast in order to earn even more points for this specific DAP is you can actually provide liquidity with the USDB and Ethereum pair and this is going to earn you more points and actually unlock better loot boxes. So these are the main things to do on this first DEX. The next site is called Abracadabra Money and on this site all we're going to do is deposit a percentage of our USDB DB. So for example, I'm just going to put $50 here as an example, you can do a lesser amount, and then you're going to hit approve, you're going to sign the transaction, and then you'll be able to deposit this. And it's as simple as that the more money that you deposit, the more points that you're going to earn for this protocol. Another thing to note about this site is you can actually lock your USDB in order to earn additional rewards. So as you can see here, it goes from a 3x all the way to a 20x if you're willing to lock this and there's different ways to maximize your points on this right hand side and please know guys that over five million dollars has already been deposited onto the site so obviously that gets diluted if you don't have nearly as much money to really put into this the next project on the list is called district one and this is a social fi project very similar to some of these other protocols on the list it's going to ask you to connect your twitter your discord as well as your wallet to get started and then an invitation code you're also going to need to deposit points 0.005 Ethereum, which at the time of this recording is about $20 in order to get started. Now, similar to other social fi platforms, you can buy shares of these different accounts. And then on these accounts, they have all these different chats and discussions. Now, a lot of this is sort of a Ponzi type scheme where a lot of people are buying the shares, hoping they go up. But as far as an individual user, you can go in and maybe you can buy some of these cheaper ones in order to interact with the ecosystem. So for example, I can go to to OX Sun, I can now acquire a share and I can pay for that share in the Ethereum that I have in my wallet. And at any point in time, I can actually dispose or sell that share. Now, once you have the share, you're going to be able to chat in these different chat rooms and earn gems, which are going to be part of how to actually get the airdrop for this project. You can also go into some of them and say, hey, what's up? And then depending on the amount of interactions that you're able to get on your chats, you're going to be able to get even more gems. Now, the big thing is, is you have so many bots just spamming, saying like this message, and then I'll like your message, all of this stuff. It's honestly a shit show, guys. But depending on how well this project can get adopted, potentially some of these shares can go on a massive run. Also, if you're someone that knows other people, you can hit the link up button and you can refer other people to this platform in order to earn even more rewards. And then on top of that, you can actually create your own space where people can buy your shares and go in your different chats and engage. So the big thing is, is if you wanna interact on this platform, you can maybe buy some of these shares, do some different chats, do some different interactions, and then potentially you'll be able to earn some of their tokens and blast rewards. They also have their open leverage token called OL, and this token has gone on a massive pump when it first came out, and now it's dropped, and now it's slowly going back up again. And this is actually already listed on a few different
different centralized exchanges out there. I believe it's on KuCoin as well as Crypto.com. And you can actually convert some of these different gems that you're earning over into this old token if you would like to do so as you're buying and selling these different shares. The last thing that I want to say about District 1 is supposedly it's also backed by Binance, but I have yet to confirm that. That's just what other people have told me. So don't take my word for granted yet. The next one on the list is called Sin Futures. And on Sin Futures, you're going to need to connect your wallet as well as their Twitter, as well as join their Discord. And once you can do that, you can start earning points. Now, the best way to earn points on here, guys, is to go to their Earn tab and add liquidity to one of their pools. The easiest pool or the highest amount of volume pool with the largest APY is going to be your wrapped Ethereum with the stablecoin. And this is currently a 338% APY, which is honestly pretty high for a stablecoin paired with Ethereum. In order to add liquidity, you simply hit the add liquidity button. You can then wrap your ETH if you have yet to actually wrap your ETH. And then you can pair this liquidity with your USDB stablecoin that we bought in the first step. So just to show you guys an example here, I'm going to put about 25% of my Ethereum. I'm going to hit confirm. And then once this confirms, this is going to change my Ethereum over to wrapped Ethereum. Once you have that wrapped Ethereum, you can now mess with the concentrated liquidity range. And depending on how tight you want this, there's going to be a different yield as well as the minimum amount of weave that you're going to have to put in this pool. As you notice with the red area, this is your liquidation risk range. So if it goes into this range, you can be liquidated. And then the impermanent loss risk is going to be at this main blue level. As you can see with this example, I'm getting around 318% APY. And you can see the removal price, which means that it's going to be converted into a trading position of a long with a 6x leverage and cease to provide liquidity. And at a range of about $2,540, I will be liquidated slash removed. And if it goes above $6,700, your liquidity will also be removed and liquidated. So realize there's a little bit more risk with this platform when it comes to the liquidations. And if you're someone that doesn't want to take a lot of risk of getting liquidated, you might want to skip out on this one or have a much larger range where you're not as worried of you getting liquidated on this protocol. If you ever want to check up on your position as well, you can go to the portfolio tab and then go to the liquidity page and you can monitor this. So in case the price of Ethereum goes on massive swings, you can always go on here and you can remove your liquidity or add additional liquidity in order to not get liquidated. Ambient Finance is our next protocol. And all you have to really do on this protocol, guys, is add liquidity with that Ethereum and USDB pair. So for example, the more liquidity you add, the more points you're going to get. And as an example here, I can say I only want to put about $25 worth of each. I can approve this transaction. And then it's going to be like all the other things that we've already done in this video. Once that approval was finished, I can now hit confirm and add that actual liquidity to the pool. One thing that I want to know as I'm going over this is the vast majority of these protocols have some sort of leaderboard where you can check your different points. So if you're ever curious about how many points you're actually earning, just click that leaderboard button and it should show you. The next one here is called Blitz. And this one is super easy. All you have to do is deposit that USDB or deposit weave and then you are good to go the more you deposit the more you're going to earn another airdrop to farm is called juice finance and all you have to do on juice finance is go over into this lend tab you are going to supply a certain amount of USDB the more you supply once again the more points that you're going to earn I'm gonna do $15 worth for this scenario and once you supply this you are getting around a 13% APY as well as earning all these different points within the ecosystem. Another helpful tip to do is you can go to the leaderboard tab and you can hit claim multiplier. And when you claim your multiplier, it's just going to help multiply your points. So make sure you do this. There's also a lot of other stuff that you can do on the site, such as going to the borrow tab and actually borrowing money, or you can go to their farms or their vaults and add liquidity. But the main thing that I'm doing on this site is simply lending out some of my USDB in order to earn that APY and start to rack up some points. And at any point in time, once again, you can go to the leaderboard and you can also refer other people as well in order to get a higher multiplier. Another very similar one to Juice is called Wasabi. The main thing that I'm doing on this site is just depositing this weef. And because I had already done that trade on the very first project, I now already have that wrapped ETH. And if you don't have this already, you can go back to one of those swaps or you can use one of the next two sites I'm about to show you. But all you have to do is deposit that weef or you can even deposit
deposit ETH, and then you're going to start accumulating points. Now for the two final bonus ones, we have Thruster as well as Ring. And these are simple decentralized exchanges where you can start to make a few different swaps in order to rack up some of their points. So for example, on Thruster, you can trade some of your ETH over to WEATH if you needed to have some wrapped Ethereum, or you can do some of these other tokens that are already out on the Blast ecosystem. And the same thing goes for Ring, where you can make some of these different swaps. The big thing with Ring though, is that you can actually go to their Earn tab and you can deposit some of these different liquidity pools, such as that ETH and USDB, which is a common theme in this whole entire airdrop guide. And this is going to earn you some points as well. And you can even deposit things such as ETH straight up. And this is earning the most amount of points without actually needing to provide the liquidity. So these are some things I would look into if you're trying to rack up some points. I'm personally not going too crazy with it right now because they already have $121 million worth of Ethereum. So it's probably going to be pretty oversaturated. If you're someone that wants to check off all these boxes and gain those different multipliers for using these different decentralized exchanges and applications, then it's probably worth doing so even if it's just a little bit and you can always add more in the future. That pretty much wraps up this airdrop guide video. All the projects listed are actually backed by Blast. So hopefully none of them end up being scams. As you're going through this, just please make sure that you're being safe. And like I said in the beginning of the video, potentially using a burner wallet or even a burner Twitter in case they even try doing something with your social account. The very last thing that I want to say is just a reminder to everyone that if you're looking for some sort of group or way to keep up with this information, join our Discord. We'll hook you up for a free week. Just open up a support ticket and say you'd like a trial pass. And then that way you don't actually have to pay $1,500 for one of our Jelly Cube NFTs before you actually try out the group. But yeah, guys, that wraps up the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all later.